Ladies and gentlemen, we all know this, but there might be a few of you that do not know this. The MP40 is one of the best SMGs in the game, and if you haven't leveled up, I highly recommend you do so. So in today's gameplay, I dropped you guys a V2 rocket. We got some funny reactions, and so I definitely recommend you guys to watch the full gameplay. For the class I was using on the muzzle, we are going to be doing the recoil boost. So this is just going to increase that fire rate, making it so you can kill the enemies a little bit quicker. We are losing some accuracy, but this thing actually beams well with this class of beams, and so you don't really notice it. Say one that had that sound suppression, it makes going for nukes a little bit easier. You want to do the mercury silencer and you get some recoil control which is super nice for the barrel just to eliminate all the recoil on the weapon you want to do the crossing 317 mm 04b on the optic i recommend you guys to try out the iso 1m it makes the iron sights like super clean very easy to use what you can also do is the slate reflector i think both of these sights are very good on the stock to increase the overall mobility of the weapon you want to do the crossing 33m folding we are losing some initial accuracy and recoil but you don't really notice it and so i think it's totally worth it to run this stock for the proficiency if you are a very aggressive player i recommend to do momentum it's going to give you a little bit of a speed boost after every kill say you're not the most aggressive player and you like to sit back a little bit more then i would do the brace it just adds a little bit more recoil control leading to you winning more gunfights at range for the kit if you're trying to go on streaks you want to do the fully loaded just to ensure that you have ammo throughout that whole streak what you can also do is the quick it's just going to increase that sprinting movement speed allowing you to be a little bit more aggressive typically for search and destroy i'll do the quick and then for like respawn modes i'll do the fully loaded on the rear grip to also increase that mobility of the weapon you want to do the fabric grip on the magazine so there's two different options in the gameplay, I was running the 64 round drum mag. This is the one that I actually prefer for respawn modes. We are losing movement speed, reload quickness, and ADS speed, but honestly, you don't really notice it, especially with this build. You're really not going to notice that. Say I'm playing search and destroy, then I would rather do the 32 round mag just to increase that damage. It's going to lead to a quicker TTK. It should be like two to three shots. So the reason I use the 64 in respawn than the 32 in search and destroy is because I find the 32 isn't really enough for a respawn, but in search and destroy, you're not going to be playing as aggressive, and so you can get away with doing the 32 round mags, and it's going to make you win a little bit more gunfights. Pretty much it's all personal preference. I recommend going through them and finding the one that you like. For the ammo, we are going to be doing the lengthen. It's just going to make the bullets leave the gun and hit the enemies a lot quicker. It's going to make the gun feel like it's killing quicker. Lastly, on the underbarrel, I like to do the carver foregrip just to increase the hit by accuracy since you are going to be rushing a lot. That's super helpful. Plus, on top of that, we get some recoil control allowing us to beam our enemies. Here is an overview of the class in case you guys want to take a screenshot of it. With all that said, that is going to wrap it up for the class. If you guys do enjoy this video at any point, a like is greatly appreciated. It really helps me on that YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more of my content or just the best vanguard content make sure you hit the subscribe button down below but without further ado let's get right into the gameplay Losing objective Baker. dude this gun is so nice this is one of the best guns in the game if not actually yeah it actually is the best gun in the game next to the cooper carbine the cooper carbine's like the best oh what what are these spawns cooper carbine is the best ar and then this is the best smg and so if you are new to the game and you're looking for a very good smg i definitely recommend the mp40 and this class this class is so nasty okay boys we gotta drop a nuke on these guys i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day because you guys all deserve it i love you all thank you for watching this video now let's go drop a nuke there's a million AFK people. I guess they're just so bad that they just can't even play the game. At least they are playing aggressive, which is nice. It's always a good sign. I hate playing against like slow people. Oh my god. No, dude, that would have been so nasty if I got the other guy or if I actually got away. And wait, he has gold on his shotgun and he's still using it. What? go let's push up a little bit more let's get this guy yeah we just got to keep our distance which is a little bit annoying but it's okay So I started to have a hard time seeing the enemy, so I switched my perk to the piercing vision. Now it's going to be a little bit easier to track them, just because it highlights them when you shoot them. There we go, I'm playing pretty aggressive. Probably got a few shotgunners coming my way. Oh my god, we gotta run, we gotta run. No, 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 no. This is so stressful just because of all the stuns, thermites, and shotguns. Like, you can't do anything. Stop throwing your nades right when you spawn in. You don't have to chuck them the second you spawn in. They need to add like a cooldown so you can't just spam it because that's so broken. 
There we go. Oh, I love the piercing vision. It's so nice. What a nice perk. That's why I like the 64 on Mag. You can do things like that. With the 32, you kill them quicker. One less bullet, but you can't do things like that. Let's come up behind this guy. Easy free kill. It's so stressful. Jesus Christ, stop torn your nades. I didn't know that is the way I'm going to die off this nuke. It's by a nade. Oh my god, he's got the Akemba shotguns. We're so screwed, boys. Okay, you know, I'm just going to dip. We only got 30 bullets. Let's throw down some munitions. We got a guy coming over soon. There we go. We just got to wait for him to push up a little bit. Get some easier range kills. There we go. 23. We just need two more for this nuke. There we go, boys. We got the nuke. Leave a like for that. Let's go, boys. I think my next video might be on the Cooper Carbine or the STG. I just want to go over, like, all the meta weapons, and I think he had incendiary rounds on there. Dude, I should honestly make a Akimbo double barrel shotgun class with the incendiary rounds. Because I heard that they're pretty, like, pretty broken. Pack powder, I mean, the buck and slug is still worse, but you can really piss some people off. Oh, we actually can call in this bombing round, too, because it doesn't matter if we die. Now we're going to play very, very aggressive, we're going to go for a nasty nuke. Let's get our ammo back. There we go. Let's keep pushing up. I think the enemies are hiding a little bit. Yeah, they got their shotguns. They're a little bit scared. It's okay, though. Oh my god, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Dude, this MP40. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. I just really wish we could play a little bit more aggressive in this match. It's just that the enemies got some weird stuff. Honestly, surprised I got a nuke in this lobby. Dude, it just beams and deletes. It's so satisfying. Oh, we could honestly get a double nuke. Yeah, that piercing vision helps so much. It's nice to be able to see where the enemies spawn with forward intel, but the piercing vision is just so underrated. Because this game, it's super hard to see the enemies. Okay, we got 103 kills. I'm going to call in this nuke pretty soon. We can call in this bombing run again. Hopefully, we can get some more kills. If we can get 200, that would be nice. Dude, guys, I can't see anything. Do you see this? How did they release a game where you can't see anything? Dude, stop with the explosions. Calm down. I can't do anything. Let me know in the comments, like, what they could do to fix this. Because this is actually unplayable. You can't see anything. There's just explosions everywhere. So I'd really, I'm really curious, like, what you guys think that they should do. For me, I think that they should remove a lot of the smoke because there's just way too much, like, smoke. And then add, like, a cooldown so you can't spawn in and just throw grenades instantly. Okay, I think we should just call in this V2. I don't think I'm going to get more kills. There's just so many shotgunners. We got 100 kills in the first half. I thought we actually were going to get 200 kills. But it was just too many shotgunners. Let's go. There we go. I love this gun. It's actually disgusting. Just violating everyone. Let's go, boys. 25 kills. God damn. Awesome. The dude with the 125 kills. So I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video.